What's up YouTube, it's Mikey and this video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to overclock your EVGA GTX 1050 Ti for the win edition. Uh, you're going to need a few programs here, you're going to get EVGA Precision X, uh, download a benchmark, I'm using Super Position uh, and you want to get something to monitor the hardware, I'm using HW Info 64, uh, I'm not using MSI Afterburner, be Afterburner because I'm using a Ryzen processor and with MSI Afterburner it won't show me my temperature of my processor so I have to use HW Info and that works with uh, River Tuner also to see the hardware info in the game. Okay so you want to get all these things opened up, uh, open up Precision X, open up your hardware monitoring stuff with River Tuner and set this up to see the on-screen display stuff. And then get the benchmark open. I have it in the game tab here with superposition so that I can do stuff and change things and not have a benchmark running. We'll start off here in EVGA. I want to go to the curve, the fan curve here, and set that up so that your temperatures aren't getting too hot. Now I have it if it's uh, 35 degrees, the fans turn off. And once it hits 40 degrees, it goes to 15% fan speed and 50 degrees it goes to 30 percent fan speed 65 degrees oops 65 degrees goes to 45 percent fan speed 70 degrees goes to 60 percent fan speed 80 goes to 80 percent fan speed and 90 degrees goes to 100 percent fan speed and this is just the fan curve that i'm using right now and that t keeps my temperatures low so you want to set those little tabs there and then click OK to apply that fan curve. And then go to your power target and turn that all the way up. And the temper target is locked with that. And just turn that all the way up and you have your fan curve set so it won't even get to 96 degrees. And uh, with the GPU clock offset, start with plus 51 because uh, the, the for the win edition here says that it its boost clock is 1493 but it actually boosts to 1860 and plus 51 gets us to 1911 but I think my motherboard is limiting me limiting me and not letting me hit that target uh, I'm using a budget motherboard the Asus Prime A320M and I think that might be limiting me start off with plus 51 and the memory clock offset start off with plus 500 and that seems to be good to plus 500 you can try going higher than that but go slow with the increases to make sure that your overclock is stable and as soon as you get a crash then you want to drop it down and find out where you can go to but start with these click apply and then go over to the benchmark and you'll see your increases and I didn't apply it, I have my other one applied to hit that 1911 target with my motherboard. I need to go to plus 75 to hit that target. Uh, I'm not sure why, but plus 75, it hits 1911. And the memory is at 2002. Which is 8 gigabytes a second for the memory speed. The stock is 7 gigabytes a second. So for me I have to go plus 75 but you don't want to go higher than that 1911 target it starts to get unstable once you go higher than that and you can go slow and keep increasing it and going higher and higher until you find out what your maximum is but go very slow with that like just even like 5 do plus 5 every time until you find what the max is till it goes unstable and starts crashing and getting artifacts but I would recommend just going to 1911 and 2002 which should be plus 51 for me I have to go plus 75 it might be the same for you and plus 500 on the memory clock offset and I didn't touch anything with the voltage control just leave that the way it is and check off apply at Windows startup so that it's always overclocked and you can see the results from the overclock. Before my overclock, I was at 5,462. The point score is just on uh, the benchmark and then the 1080p medium preset here. And you're not getting a huge FPS boost, but you're squeezing just a little bit more FPS out of her. So you can see my average here is 40.86, and then after the overclock, it's 43.65, which isn't a huge FPS boost but you're you know, squeezing just that little bit more out of it and it makes a difference. 
strength with a 54-62 score and then up to 58-36, which isn't too bad. With these offsets, this is just with the For the Win Edition from EVGA. And uh, with the other 1050 Ti's, you'll want to aim for that 1911 target also. It's the same and with the 4004 here, 1911, and in the hardware info things, it'll say 2002 for the memory clock. So yeah guys, this was my quick video on how to overclock the EVGA GTX 1050 Ti for the win. If this video helped you out, just leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to help. Uh, you can follow me on social media, on Twitter, and Facebook, and Instagram. I don't post most on Instagram, but Twitter and Facebook. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe for more content. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.